Hi everybody, Camu here up at my favourite tree. Just walked the dogs up here and thought I would make this video in commemoration of 59.99 reputation, but more importantly, my six month anniversary on the Steam blockchain. Six months ago, my friend Barge introduced me to Steamit and I joined one of the best groups of people I've ever met. The first thing I did was find the open mic contest and I signed up for that straight away, made my first submission and continued to submit for maybe four months every week. Man walking along the railroad tracks Going someplace and there's no going back. I learned an incredible amount through doing that. Not just playing wise and performance wise, but also in terms of technology and how to set up microphones and record in my living room. It wasn't long after that that I started doing D Live concerts from my living room, and that was a great, tremendous amount of fun. But perhaps the biggest and most important thing was discovering DTube Daily which is now known as D-Daily. I watched a few vlogs after having discovered Dr. Kent through his music. I watched some videos and I thought to myself, gosh, that would be great fun. I would love to do that, but I know myself and I just didn't think that I would ever have the time to be able to commit to making daily videos, let alone processing them because I had no skills with editing either. But by the next day I had already decided to give it a go and I uploaded my first video, joined the Discord group and said hi. There was a bunch of people in there who knew each other pretty well they were a close group of people, and it's always hard to break into a close group of people from the outside. However, I knew from having run web forums, I used to run a guitar forum back in the day, before Facebook and all that, and I was moderator on some other guitar forums as well. So I knew how important it was to be welcoming to any newcomers that wanted to join up. And that was what I found with DTube Daily. These people were phenomenally welcoming and encouraging and supportive. And within a couple of days, I had already had a voice chat on Discord with a couple of them, with Winnie, one of the founders, and Articush, all the way from the bush, with whom I got to have an interesting conversation in Russian. That was great fun, because I don't often get to speak Russian anymore. And that really, it gave me some courage to start to think of myself as a content creator. Even though, although I was creating content, I always attached that name to other people. YouTube people with thousands of followers, young guys who had the hustle and the time and the drive and the motivation and the enthusiasm. The support and encouragement from the group made me come to believe in myself as a content creator. Primarily as a musician, because that's, that's where my main passion lies, recording music, playing music. But I'm also a keen photographer. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy audio production. There are all sorts of areas in which I am creative and I do make content. Therefore, I am a content creator. Right? It's been a fantastic time on the Steam blockchain. I've been sharing photography and participating in Julian Kay's photography contests. That's been a huge inspiration for me. I also post on Be Scouted. That's another great platform on the blockchain for sharing photographs. I'm a member not only of DTube Daily, now known as D-Daily, 
I'm also a member of the One Love DTube group, which has also been very supportive. And I'd like to thank Dookie and crew for all the support I've got from them. And from Vince, known as DNews, who started up the Steam Powerment group. I've had a lot of support just through watching his videos, but also on a personal level, we have shared some backs and forths. When I started this, I was making daily vlogs for, I think, about 75 days on my iPhone 8 Plus. I did upgrade some gear. I bought myself a DJI Osmo Mobile 2, and that was pretty fun. But I decided at some point I was going to have to upgrade. I was shooting on a Nikon D300 SLR. It didn't do video. So I started researching, and with some help from Jeff McMullen, another D Daily member, I settled on the Sony brand. That was fortuitous. I was actually looking at the Panasonic GH5 and the Sony A6500 and I went into a store in Glasgow to have a look at both of those cameras and walked out with the A7 III, so there you go. After that was accessories, lenses, straps, microphones. Lots of time spent researching gear. Lighting, Gerald Undone on YouTube was a big help with that. So I've now got some studio lights in my living room. I've got a great place set up where I can do my recordings. It's part of the living room, but you wouldn't know that from the videos. It looks like a studio. It's all trickery, isn't it? Vegan Roma has been a big help with that, showing me what can be done with very minimal gear. He's also been helpful with lighting as it goes. So here we are, six months in, lots more gear, is the driving enthusiasm there? Hell yeah, it's there as much as it's ever been. Big thank you to everyone who's engaged with me, to everyone on the D Daily group, you are all wonderful people and I thank you for your support and encouragement. Also to the Open Mic group. It's been great fun being part of that group. It's been a good area of growth for me, but not only that, I've got to watch and listen to some fantastic music. To the One Love DTube group, to Vince and the Steam Powerment group, and to everyone who's engaged, and of course, to Barge for inviting me onto the platform in the first place. Big thanks to you, Barge. If you haven't seen Barge's content, take a look. He's a great photographer and an even better travel blogger. So, from Camuel, up by the one tree with the dogs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.